Good morning, Sydney. A gorgeous day on the harbour today. Sydney can expect a top of 21. It's currently 16 degrees. We've organised that day for Katy Perry. You know, as the child of two pastors, Katy Perry started out as a gospel singer, but it wasn't until she turned to pop and released the hit single, I Kissed a Girl, that Katy Perry became very, 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 very famous. <laughs> the song went straight to number one on the Australian ARIA charts and broke a record for staying on top for six consecutive weeks. And now, Katy's touring down under. And, of course, you, uh, well, hopefully you saw the performance on Sunrise a little earlier. She's been kind enough to stick around and sit on the lounge with us for a little while to talk about her amazing career. Yeah, so far, Katy, good morning to you. Hi. <laughs> so I said, you know, did you have a great day yesterday? Did you do any touristy things? And no, you... I went shopping. Went shopping. As That's what you do. As every girl does. As every girl does. Yeah. And I just think generally men will never understand it. What'd you buy? Did you get good? Oh, I did. Yeah. Uh, I went to a really nice uh, store in Surrey Hills. Yeah. Um, I forget the name of it, but it was like a vintage kind of rockabilly store, which is really cute. And uh, it's a few little dresses. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, little cool. dresses and stuff that I'm excited to wear. All right. Are we done with that yes, now? We're done. finished with the but fashion. I, I like, yeah, no, seriously, we're finished with the fashion check I now. Wanted, I did want to pet a kangaroo, which I, I might still be able to because I'm going to be in Australia for a little while. Yeah, we'll get you a kangaroo. What about a koala? Well, koala that would be, be nice. a little bit easier to catch. I don't want to be like stereotypical tourist girl that comes from the states mm. to Australia <laughs> and want to go surfing and hop in the knapsack of a kangaroo. No thanks. You know, if your next song is "I Kissed a Koala and I Liked It," you'll know <laughs> that we came up with a hit. Well, were you, were you a Good Christian girl growing up in a very strict Christian family, or were you a bit rebellious? Mm, you know, I think I was okay. I, I, uh, I didn't eat a whole lot of sugar cereal. I definitely <laughs> stuck to my parents' rules because that was, you know, you you you're born and you grow up in a, a family and you, you know, kind of fear your parents and you definitely respect them and mm. this is the way and this is how it is and do it like this and of course that's what you grow up in and then you know when you leave the nest you kind of figure out things a little bit on your own but generally I was a good I was a good kid like you know right. maybe. I mean they're both pastors right so it's yeah. not just sort of religious it's like Really? Quite, oh, yes, quite it's... religious. And you didn't sort of even listen to rock music. You, it wasn't until you were, what, 15 or so that mm -hmm. you discovered it? How'd that happen? Um, well, I remember I was uh, uh, hanging out with my friend and we were just being girls, trying on clothes and doing stupid stuff, and she was playing DJ for the day. And mm -hmm. she put on uh, Queen, Killer Queen, and uh, I was definitely so like taken aback and it was like the heavens opened up <laughs> and I was like queen and I just I never knew that someone could be so uh, eccentric and uh, um, very colorful and visual with their lyrics and so it definitely inspired me. Slumber parties have got a lot to answer for haven't they? Well you wish you were invited I'm sure. <laughs> to that one. When you told your parents you said before uh, everything was okay till you you know you left the nest was was that the turning point then or were you a little rebellious towards the end and you thought I've got to get out of here and start singing Queen songs? Um, no you know they're very supportive like they're the ones that got me the singing lessons bought me my first guitar when I was 13 I think generally their parents and them they have their opinions as all parents do like yeah. even if I were going to college rather than singing a song called I kissed a girl they'd probably be saying well you should do this blah blah blah, blah. I love them respect them don't try and change them anymore but they supported your early music because you were doing gospel right your first album was a gospel. they definitely album. support it now uh, I uh, I got the call yesterday, I'm going to play on the Latin VMAs. My dad's like, I want to go to Mexico. I'm like, OK, <laughs> see you in Guadalajara. That's great. So they're really... Because <laughs> I'd read that they, they weren't really supportive of what you do now, but they are. Yeah, but um, I think that it's a, it's a funny thing called gossip, and you can't always read... I mean, you can't always, you know... Uh, no, I think, yeah, absolutely. You can always believe what you read, because yeah. it's definitely one of those, like, of course you would think that, you would think that, like, I was raised in a very religious household, my parents have shunned me, and, you know, I live in a basement, and I eat stale bread every other day, or something like that, but it's, it's definitely not, like, I don't disrespect what they believe, and, you know, they understand me, and I'm kind of... Yeah, and they... they... If, if not entirely agree, agree with the lyrics, I respect what you're parents doing. Parents and kids have always kind of had that, like... Yeah. Uh, you know, thing. Right. Chewing and frying, yeah? If, yeah. If, if we cut all of that away and just get to the lyrics of this song, I Kissed a Girl and I Like It, what do they think of that position? That proposition? What, what do they think? Um, about you singing about that? I mean, I think that they're not really completely shocked about it because it wasn't like I, you know, it wasn't like a black and white overnight. It's always been me. I've always 
had, you know, I wasn't rebellious, but I've always had a big kind of opinion and a, you know, loud mouth and been kind of obnoxious here and there. And so um, gradually over the years, I think I might have pushed their envelope enough. <laughs> yeah. I was reading, uh, Last you said last year was tough. I'd write a check for my rent and next to it I'd write, please, God, please. Yes. H have, how much have things changed for you now that you've had this number one hit? Do you have to worry about writing the rent checks anymore? Um, thankfully, I don't have to worry about the rent checks. Um, I think that, you know, I don't expect any of this. I don't expect to be in Sydney and yeah. people singing along and having number ones all over the world um, because I've been in a position where I've had it and lost it all, had it and lost it all. Mm -hmm. And so I think it can, it can go as quickly as it comes. Mm -hmm. um, so I definitely have a savings account. <laughs> I know you look to Cindy Lauper and Joan Jett, and the thing you like about these ladies is you say they still don't care. Do you reckon if we talk to you in 10 years' time, you still won't care? I reckon if you talk to me in 20 years' time, I still won't care. <laughs> Good stuff. Lo thank you very much for sticking around. Thank you. Uh, we got you a koala. We've had it flown in especially. Oh! <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's just sleeping now, so don't wake it up. A baby! <laughs> At a least baby. you can't eat these. I heard you guys eat kangaroos, and you guys are monsters. That's hard. Yes. <laughs> We're all monsters. We're, we're I'm all just monsters. kidding. I'm kidding. I had a Thanks, kangaroo, Kay. and I liked it. Yeah. Hey, good to, good to see you. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Nice you to see you, darling. Katy Perry's album, One of the Boys, is out now. And for more information on her tour, just head to our website, and we'll point you in the right direction. Is that like the luckiest koala in the whole world? Look at that yeah. couple going on there. Still to come, the call for healthy food to be subsidised for low-income families. Plus, your votes for the hottest on-screen couple of all time. And coming up, he's just been voted the sexiest man in footy. Matt Ballon is here on the couch. Are you single, Katie? Uh, no. No, OK. You're watching the morning show right across Australia. He's not either, actually, so that kind of works out <laughs> just perfectly.